wanted to get Wayne Madsen just to briefly pop in. He was here last week. Great guy. His info just keeps turning out to be so impeccable in the 15 years or so that I've been interviewing uh, Wayne Madsen. Uh, but he's one of the original big NSA whistleblowers. He worked there. And I wanted to get his take on Homeland Security investigations. It's like a Praetorian Guard over the other Homeland Security departments. They tell them what drug shipments to stop, what to let in, wh what human smuggling to let, which the globalists run. I mean, that's why they're the key <clears throat> gatekeepers, speaking of gatekeepers, and that's always where they have the key ops. And I'm not saying they killed Hastings, but that's from the reporters uh, that, uh, that uh, his buddy, Staff Sergeant Biggs, is talking to. They were investigating, they got threatened by them, and they say it's the same people that that's the feds that were visiting people, according to these investigative journalists. And again, we have the names, we have the info. We're going to be, uh, you know, on these reporters, we're going to be interviewing a bunch of them, including TV station reporters, when we're out in Los Angeles to try to put this info out. And so, you know, if they kill me this week, I mean, they, they might want to send a message and do it. Just no, I'm not stupid and I know that. I'm okay. I go willingly up against the dragon because I'm not going to submit to it. Uh, and all of it's evil. I mean, they're giving kids Gardasil shots they know give them basically cancer. <laughs> and that's if you're lucky you get cancer in 20 years. A lot of them get cancer in a few weeks or have autoimmune or blood pour out of every orifice. I mean, that, I mean that's why I just am going 110% here because we're already under genetic warfare. We're already under biological warfare. We're already under soft kill warfare. So I wanted to bring up, you talked about the Q group that's now been confirmed and the undersea cable tapping and that all the European countries involved in it. He, he exposed it in their commission a decade ago or more. So so what, what Madsen's covered has been confirmed. Just, just to give you that preface. But I wanted to bring up the Homeland Security Investigations Group. This is the Praetorian Guard assigned within ICE, but that's just, just the agency that funds it. Uh, and the, uh, the fact that we're tunneling into this and I wanted to uh, invite Wayne Madsen. It just clicked. That's why I called to get him on. I would like to invite Wayne Madsen to fly him with one of my camera people out to be an advisor. Because Madsen, I've been with him. He knows how to pick up military operatives and stuff that have been put on us before. I don't want to get into the whole story. People that haven't lived this don't know, but we can't eat dinner without this stuff going on. And so, Madsen, how would you like to go with Staff Sergeant Biggs? Uh, as an old school hand of the world and one of my camera people to Los Angeles next week uh, on Monday and uh, Tuesday. How would you like to do that? Well, just in February, I was out in California investigating the uh, what I consider the hit on Phil Marshall, 9-11 author Phil Marshall and his two kids and his pet dog. So, uh, yeah, you know, I mean, uh, California seems to be the place to go to investigate uh, suspicious deaths of journalists and authors. After all, that's where Gary Webb, uh, a few years back, uh, he supposedly died All right. as a result of two gunshot wounds. So, yeah, you know, California, I guess, is the place for investigation. Yeah, well, if I was going into Fallujah, I'd want to have Sergeant Biggs with me. He's a great guy. He's a great distinguished record. He's really a war hero. Uh, you know, the wars are corrupt. He knows that as well, but he still has a lot of courage and is a good guy. Um, I'm going to send a camp with one of my best camera people. I'm trying to fin work on Obama deception, too. I don't even have the crew to really send two people, but I think Biggs needs the expert at, at, at clandestine stuff. Not that we're clandestine. They're going to have clandestine people out there. And you've got the, uh, you've got the big uh, wavos there, the big brass wavos. Uh, I'm happy to go, too. I mean, actually, I'd fall asleep, you know, on a space drop or something. Like out of Aliens, I do this stuff so much. But uh, the whole point is, is that uh, I want to send you, we're just brainstorming here on air, and I'm not sure which reporter yet. They all want to go. Um, and so uh, let's work all this out because I'm brainstorming on air. Do get with Madsen after the show. Do tends to organize all this as the news director. And let's get Madsen flown out there. Let's get our base of operations. And then let's fly out Sunday or Monday. I'm, well, we'll decide later. Let's get Biggs out from uh, Charlotte's North Carolina. Is it South Carolina? I forget. I have one of those moments. Too much going on. And we'll fly them all out and have a meet out there in Los Angeles um, for two days to go. Because I'm, I'm worried they'll put operatives on him just to rabbit trail him and push him off. We, we want to go through the real investigative journalists we know, the local TV station, the eyewitnesses we know by name who are ready to talk to us. So it's going to be a lot of work. Are you ready to bird dog this whole thing and help help honcho this, Madsen? Absolutely. I found out that you can't really get to the essence of a story unless you're actually physically there 
you got to look at the scene of the crime for one thing. Uh, television can play tricks when you see things on television. So when you're there looking at it and you're talking to eyewitnesses, we had you know several people in that neighborhood talking about how they heard what they heard was like a bomb going off. These are these of course are people uh, that are very uh, key to tell you exactly what happened. Just like Phil Marshall's neighbors were very uh, helpful in determining that uh, there was no way he shot him, uh, his kids and himself. You know, you talk to the people that live there, they know best what what has happened. Yeah, well, I just want you there. I mean, Biggs can take care of himself. He's got courage and he's smart, but uh, I want him to know what tricks to look for because he, he's dealt with a whole different atmosphere being in, uh, I don't know, three years in Iraq, uh, two years in, in Afghanistan. But we'll... Uh, We'll get you out there by Monday then, and that's the plan. Okay, just briefly, this is just a quick pop in today. What is your whole take on uh, Homeland Security investigations uh, as entering the quadrant of suspects? And what is your take uh, then uh, on the whole Trayvon Martin uh, PSYOP we see going on? Well, on, on this uh, Homeland Security, you, you, you know, after 9-11, and I, I wrote about what happened at NSA, we had the uh, buildup of the NSA Internal Security Group, Q Group, uh, which is now like an intelligence agency with, within an intelligence agency. It, it was predicted that when Homeland Security was organized as a department, that this thing was going to become a huge monolithic organization. And, and it has not only combined previous law enforcement agencies, but as you have said, it's created some of its own Homeland Security Internal uh, investigations. Uh, th this is this is is just a monster that's feeding on itself. And until we get rid of Homeland Security and take it back to the status quo ante, we're going to see this uh, type of thing continue with this these out of control, uh, unanswerable uh, intelligence and law enforcement agencies. Absolutely, uh, continuing. Very exciting. We're going to have you reporting from the ground with us uh, with uh, Staff Sergeant. Joseph Biggs next week with one of our reporters, Wayne Madsen, working directly with InfoWars. That's why he was kind of out here. We're talking about having him work more with us because of the great work he does. Uh, in closing, in the four or five minutes we've got left before I go to break and come back with calls and then Ted Nugent in the fourth hour of Overdrive, what is your take on the whole spectacle now of the media and the Justice Department trying to orchestrate, or again, honcho, to use that word, uh, some type of summer of rage, and I guess it's working pretty good. We're not hearing about any of the scandals anymore. Right. You know, and the worst network is MSNBC. You brought them up earlier. They have uh, one person on there, Melissa Harris Perry, who actually uh, did a video. Uh, she uh, had a had an appearance um, on a recent program where she said, you know, Snowden should just come back and go to jail. Obama will take care of him in a federal prison. He won't have anything to worry about. Like, uh, hey, what about his trial? She wants him in prison already. Uh, yet she was uh, basically goading people on about the, the whole Trayvon Martin situation. I mean, between her and people like Al Sharpton on MSNBC, these are trouble. These Al Sharpton is a professional troublemaker. I remember back when he what he did up in, in, in uh, Queens and, and Brooklyn urging people to attack Korean grocery store owners because they were charging, he thought they were charging too much, when in fact they were the only ones who would go in and open stores in, in neighborhoods that were very dangerous. Uh, he, he has been a, uh, a basically a, a, a race baiter for decades, and now he has his own show on MSNBC. Remember MSNBC, owned by Comcast and Microsoft, uh, and Microsoft is key. So, so we had this... Uh, person uh, uh, saying Snowden uh, should be in prison in the United States and uh, Zimmerman should have gone to jail and that the you know jurors should be ashamed of themselves. I think what's really dangerous here is we're seeing now this uh, being shifted over to the jurors. You know, that's jury selection. You, you know, most people don't want to be on juries for this very reason. That's right. We're being taught that all of our institutions aren't good. The Justice Department, though, they're going to get that that racist uh, Zimmerman. I mean, I mean, I expect them to start saying black people are white when they kill black people just to make it racial. Right. Zimmerman, you, you're right, too, that th this should have been a local Central Florida story, at the very maximum, a Central Florida story. But what the media does with these uh, these stories is that they make 
these local stories, national stories. And, and we had all the, you know, the Jesse Jacksons on and, and, and just to stir people's, uh, you know, uh, feelings up. And, and this is not healthy uh, for this country. As you say, when we have major other, other major stories to cover, you know, we had, you know, here we have another OJ case, another uh, K- uh, Casey Anthony case. They always take these cases and make them national. This would have, this did not happen, by the way, in the news media back in the uh, 60s and even the 70s. It was, um, you know, it was when we got the tabloid television, the 24-hour news channels. Absolutely. In closing, out. the Zimmerman family suspects Obama is tapping their phones. I don't think there's any suspects about it, Wayne. What do you say briefly? <laughs> Why should they be different than the rest of us? Of course. The government's tapping all of our phones. Uh, we know that from the Snowden revelation. They sure. tap us. It's security. We tap them. It's espionage. <laughs> but really, all it is is a felony when they do it. Wayne Madsen, WayneMadsenReport.com. Thanks for popping in. And you're going to be part of our uh, group of three, the Fellowship of the Three, going to L.A. Before I go any further, uh, remember, we're going to be premiering tomorrow night with the filmmakers here in town on InfoWars Nightly News. State of Mind, The Psychology of Control. And we started shipping the film yesterday to everyone on DVD and on Blu-ray. All orders now shipping from the InfoWars Command Center here in Austin, Texas. So if you haven't got your order in, it's a powerful film getting into the globalist manipulation of the psyche. It's great to wake up friends and family and your purchase. Believe me, I, I wish I could just have some great globalist benefactor that wanted to end the New World Order who would just give me money. And then I wouldn't even have ads. In fact, I've skipped nine minutes of ads today that it might bankrupt the network. I've got to quit doing that, folks. And that's how horrible I am when it comes to not wanting to make money. I don't even care about the money. It's not bad to want money, but I needed to fund the operation. Buy the T-shirts, buy the books, buy the ProPure, 10% off promo code WATER. Purchase and shop with InfoWarsStore.com. By the way, I go out and do incredible research with my crew to find the best uh, non-GMO uh, heirloom seeds open pollinated. We go out and find the best water filters, the best cook stoves, the best survival materials, the best books, the best films, the best magazines, the best info. Infowarsstore.com. High tech, two different shopping carts, choose what you want. Infowarsstore.com.